like that little jealousy. Like, she does. <laughs> I was like, fuck. So, guys, this is the last world. Um, yeah, the attic. Of course, it's always toys in the attic. It's like some little reference. Again, this is this is a Halloween. This is a Halloween yeah. worthy game. Yeah, just from like a design outlook, I think it's a bit of a stretch. But it's a, it's it's just like the the overall design of the toy is just I, you know. I, I think they blew their load a little early with the with the doll. <laughs> so this level is annoying as all get out. So this is really key. Jumping up here for this dang extra life is. Needed. But you can keep getting that extra life, yeah, though. Yeah, exactly. So, so you this, essentially this have level unlimited was challenging, tries. So yeah, but you you essentially have unlimited tries as long as you yeah. keep getting that life. Look at that, dude! You almost fucking ate it because of your damn uh, butterfeet. That sounds good, actually. Butterfeet. Butterfeet. I don't really mind taking a hit there because I know that thing thing's there. Yeah. So yeah, always get that extra life. You'll be fine. So you this wanna... level gave you a bit of shit. And the, yeah, the, the next two will. The next two. Well, the. the since I went through and did this. So these guys here, you got to hit them three times and then run and slide and hit their balls. Yeah. Everything's about hitting balls here. Yeah. We're all about the balls. <laughs> Bouncy run, balls. Run, slide, get them. What a caps. magical toy-filled world. With balls. With balls. Yeah. balls. Bouncy balls. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Pickles had a ball with a star on it. He did. Tommy Pickles. <laughs> Pickles. Ah. So now that you kind of... I know you only kind of hit in and out while I was practicing, but what are you thinking now that you've seen the bulk of the game? Well, I, I, like, like I said, like it, my general assessment is still pretty much holds true. Clockwork Knight doesn't seem to do anything new. It's just, you know, it's a standard 2D platformer, which were all the rage. Uh, mm -hmm. around. The, no, actually, they were beginning to phase out at this time, I would say. Because 3D platformers were pretty much the focus starting in, mm -hmm. I would say, 1996, thanks to Super Mario 64. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, so... You know, we're, we're, we're witnessing, like, the end of an era that wouldn't see any sort of come up in, until, fuck it, I would say, what do you say, early 2000s, mid 2000s, really, yeah. so thanks to the indie scene? The the crazy thing that today, especially going into these days, is, well, by the way, these so these things, now I can move them move them around if I wanted to, but it, it's also a risk I really don't want to take. You want to throw that thing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate those things! <laughs> I hate those bears are the worst dang enemy ever. And again, it's just because I can't attack in multiple directions. Yeah, it doesn't look like. Can you deflect it back? What are they throwing you can, you at can, you? You can just disable it. Yeah. Or like neutralize it, I guess. Just fucking throw that thing. He, yeah. like, he, he, if you can. If you can. If you can. You just gotta get a bit of distance and then just hope for the best. Thankfully, it looks okay, like. like even though he's off screen, yeah, he's still off screen. Thing. He still throws that shit at you. It's and there's, the next level is where it gets really annoying because you're trying to platform and you can only hit those in one of two directions, and they come from above you, below you, and it's like you you, you will die if you don't do it right. There's a way around it that I, I had forgotten about, but thank you, thanks to my playing through it real quick, I remembered. Um, that did it by accident. I would say 2D started making a comeback around the mid 2000s, and it's all over the place now thanks to the indie scene. It is. Well, again. The, they can do so much with 2D platformers these days. Well, thanks to the technology not being as limited as it used to. Yeah. At the same time, though, you realize, though, because of the limited technology at the time, that forced creators to get creative mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, with uh, their game design, which, in my opinion, so, makes them stuck real quick, out more. I have to wait until this thing starts to rise before I do this. Otherwise, you yeah. cannot complete this next part, and you'll have to die. So Let's find out why. Go, 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 yeah, go, 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 go. Because otherwise you have to kill all those things. And yeah, it just and takes way too time. much time. Yeah. That wasn't even on there. <laughs> cock work! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna work, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my cock after all this is done. Where's Saltia? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she seems to like me. She seems to like me. Well, hello. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> gotta sing it john gotta sing it he has a mustache uh, to beat all mustaches what the baseball no that's the, what it uh, looks like no i'm pepperocho here no, that was with the baseball has a mustache too all right so this level here it's the annoying as all get out so i'm, I'm gonna skip a lot of the things you'll see like all these are gonna get skipped because th there's a there's multiple pathways there's really only one correct one yeah and all these other boxes that you see it's don't like, have choose these. your destiny, and your destiny ends up being in a fucking loop because you're going the wrong way. So Ross is probably much just gonna take the right way. Uh, I'll go into one of them just so you can see why it's the right one because there is actually a pattern to it. Yeah, is that it? So this is one of them here. There's three boxes in a row. There's this one here, comes out in the middle. 
You got an arrow oh, pointing arrow left. Oh, arrow is pointing that way. I wonder what that means. Uh, it was, as I think of it, it just made me an arrow pointing left. It could be. Maybe. Because arrows were you know. taken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Common sense was taken from me. <laughs> so if you so there's there's three boxes in a row, and they are actually lined up in this ultra place where you can go to the right one. So this take me way back to the beginning. Yeah. And then just hit the one in that middle. So not the one at the very end, but the one next to it. And you'll go to that one area. Or at least the, 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 the arrow is made of clocks. Give you a big boost in time. Yeah. Almost like apologizing for making you choose the wrong path. Well, don't give me the fucking wrong path at all. Fuck you. So which one is the right way? The one I'm on right now, but I kind of want the you extra wanna, you wanna kill hit. Him. Yeah, don't get hit while getting the extra hit. Yeah, that's Otherwise, kind of the it's key. It's pointless. <laughs> it's, well, exactly. You, you, it's it's worth the risk because as long as you don't do something really stupid, you're gonna at least come out. You either come out even or at least one up. So you get hit three times to get that one hit point. <laughs> See yeah. now it's the one I feel in so accomplished. Get up here. And this is where things get just. Ugh. Why? Ugh. First off, there's there are multiple pathways. Here's here's an example of one of them. There's a little key back here. There's supposedly a way to get another key. I don't remember how to get it. Is so. the only time that concept is used? No, the there's a, every every level has multiple pathways. I just kind of taken the main one. No, 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 no. I'm talking about using a key to open a door. Um, it's kind of redundant because you already have a keyblade. Unlike Sora's, it isn't the best one. No, 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 no. You can't like change it to get other keychains. You gotta go for that hit point. Yep. Okay, at least you can pick up things by yeah. poking at it. Exactly. It's like the like the unholy Triforce of Zelda games. Okay, this is this this just this is just annoying as all get out. Oh, you got a football. I'm not even going for it. So this one you kind of want to ride at the bottom. Yeah, but it seems like you can get rewarded if you just like do some high risk maneuvers here. You can. Yeah, yeah. But if you're stupid. <laughs> stupid. Go for the invincibility. Yep. Do you kind of have to at this point? Is it like the other part of the stage? Um, you don't really need it well, now. You, well, you got that asshole up there that you don't like, and he's throwing yeah. shit at you. That's the thing. Like, if you take the high road, it's not worth the high yeah. road. <laughs> That's right, kids. Aim low. Like right there. Like okay, that was a little fucking uh, like I knew it was risque coming, so. though. Like you barely made that. Just go, just go, just go, yep. just jump for that shit. See, so, thankfully I did a test play, so th this part killed me like six times. It was God like, damn, it was awful. Like it was again. Cause you just, <laughs> a couple of them you don't even. And <laughs> cock work. <laughs> Look at that little jaunty ass. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting some pussy tonight. <laughs> I will be doing some more penetrating on the right one <laughs> with my keyblade. <laughs> this is an awfully sexual let's play. Okay, yeah. I was like, look at that locked door. Mm. Uh, he wants me. I will take you. <laughs> it's a it's a door pepper. <laughs> it's a door to it's, it's a, good, it's a good door. To, it's a door to a good time. So I start up with this guy. What the? Oh, it's a black like a boss rush. Not a boss rush. It's one boss. Just one boss. Okay, well, he's rushing. <laughs> So basically, you want him to break the platform. So just kind of keep going between the two, and you're gonna go down. Oh, it's like that's like Bowser in Mario Three. Well, you're not falling with him though. So you want to use his head to kill him. What? <laughs> like this? You can't actually stab him. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Look at that. What, did he edit out? He never yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it was a fart. No, I'm kidding. No, it was a cough. No, he would leave that in. No, no, no. no. <laughs> fart has to stay in there. Fart has to stay in because that's where the real money's at. Absolutely. <laughs> but, <laughs> Clockwork night part, whatever we're on. Yeah. The fart. Like, is this where he sharded himself? Did he shit his pants? Did sharts happen? Yeah. Shart happened. <laughs> so then you want to, on this part, you just want to run underneath. Throw it. Can you only throw straight horizontally? You can't go straight. You can't. Well, you can't. Like, you can't go. You can't. You can go throw up. It's. It's just really. Oh, uh, it goes in an arc. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little weird. So this is weird. Whoa! What the wireframe? The fuck? He's got the Sigma virus in him. Well, at least it's like it's pretty fucking obvious where he's going. Oh, don't jump! Oh no, God! Just, you had to say that, didn't you? Uh, you already <laughs> jumped. <laughs> like, don't jump! Why? <laughs> Why am I not jumping? <laughs> well, let's cut to when we got to that boss. That was pretty much the entire fight right there. Pretty much. He was he was about dead. All right. Fuck. Yes. And, and he's dead. I fucking killed him. Yeah. X marks the spot. 
<laughs> the worst. Ever. You, need, you need to work on your pickup lines, Pepper. Holy How shit! Your, girl, your girlfriend was in there the entire time, dude. You were rocking the fuck out of her. There was a lot of pen. I couldn't even penetrate her. No, I had to throw no, my no, dang no, head no, at her. I had to throw my head it's at like, her. No, it's like you, you, she's inside the machine. You're like she's wondering, oh, what's going on out there? Why am I getting rocked so fucking much? I was. I, I was penetrating her with my head. No, you know, yeah, we don't. Okay, let's not let's not reach too deep into that. You were fucking. It's like I was, She came out bruised, and shaken, and maybe with a few broken bones because she was in that robot the entire fucking time. Yeah, I and know. And you kept throwing shit at her. I know. You know, if I stuffed my you, head. if I stuffed you in a trash can and thing. kept hitting the trash can with baseball bats, you ain't coming out of that trash can all hunky dory. So I went from the attic to the library somehow. What? <laughs> if you just go straight up. For the final boss. <laughs> this is the final boss, ladies and gentlemen. Beyond the attic is and a library. So here's a, the final boss. I almost think this is a commentary a little bit. <laughs> Social commentary? It is. Like how? Whoa, how? So the final boss is a television set. Okay. And he's the television doing its blinking thing is the one that made all the other robots, or all the toys, um, go all nuts. So... Maybe he was trying to say that, oh, TV's ruining... TV's, uh, TV's ruining a child's mm-hmm. imagination. Yep. Hey, fuck so this off. thing comes down. TV's been a thing since the fucking 50s. <laughs> he just showed you right there what you're supposed to do. When he does his first drop, a, a, a thing of pencils comes down. Yeah. Basic, it, it's, a, it's a quick time thing. So you knock his thing down, let him do his first one, his first mm-hmm. drop. Changes the cassette. <laughs> yep. Run over, grab it. You look like you just barely have enough time to do that. It, 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 it is a quick time. Quick, it, is, it is something that needs to be quickly timed. Um, but you know, we're playing here. Television is the true enemy. It is. It's not the guy inside the TV. It's the, the TV itself. It is. Yeah. So I mean, there's no one controlling the TV. It's. It has but a mind there, of its but own. There, there's a face that appears. That, that not like not like face from like Nick Jr. and shit, but. <laughs> It's more Nick like Junior. I remember that, man. Yeah. It's been a long time. But uh, you know, like besides the, the, the cartoonish face, there seems to be like another face that mo- like frequently pop well, not frequently, but infrequently pops up. What the fuck is it? They just keep changing motherboards. Like they're so fucking easy to grab like that. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's a lot more complicated than that, folks. <laughs> it makes Russ sick. I know, right? <laughs> Forgive me, everybody. Ooh, wow, he's got pincered there. Yeah, a little bit. So how long does this go for? Uh, it's almost dead. I think maybe one or two more hits. One or two more hits now. Yeah, I think just because you missed the first hop with that one doesn't mean, like, you're not going to get another one. He just got away from the jump again. And it looks like he always jumps right after this is the first jump. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's it's, it's easy to time. It's, it is just like a, a short timing window. Yeah. Yeah, like, like there. Look, he's dead. That's the game. Wow. I know, right? Again, nine-year-old me trying to figure out how to kill that fucker? <laughs> oh, my God. We should have let's play that. <laughs> <laughs> it is, because uh, it, it's like, especially if you missed that at the beginning with the pencils, because, I mean, again, nine-year-old me couldn't figure, quite, quite figure that out. Same with some of those other parts, but. Yeah, but sometimes you have those forehead slapping moments. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, fuck, of course I gotta do that. Well, that extra 10,000 per life that I have left. Nice. And you definitely had a lot more lives than a... Yeah. So my, my my preview for this, I was down to my last hit of my last life when I killed this guy. It was... I couldn't remember all the patterns right away. It took me a little bit. So everybody's all happy. Nice. But, you know, she's like unconscious. And you want to know why? Because you fucking did that. You hear I know. me? I knocked you, her around. You really knocked good. her around like that head. You know? Goddamn. Like a prize inside a Cracker Jack box. <laughs> How could that thing float like that? What? The, the little... The spinny top thing. Because from the future, man. <laughs> the end! Yeah, you knocked your girlfriend silly, and I, I hope she wakes up, because, uh, shit, that was kind of my fault. So this is a little weird here. Everybody takes a quick bow. Yeah. Your yeah, girlfriend seems to be doing just fine, you know, standing up mm-hmm. next to your, uh, next to Pepper. And you're just taking a bow, but it's all stage shows, like Super Mario Bros. 3. That's mm-hmm. fine. But now we got like what, like a musical number? Of course. Okay. Soltia. Soltia, tell me. Yeah, you can see the perfume squeezer yeah. thing on the back of her. That would be a pretty awesome perfume bottle to have. I wonder if they had that anywhere in Japan. Maybe, maybe not. Really grainy. <laughs> it's really Sega grainy. Saturn. 
Sega Saturn. So there is a, a little thing at the end here. So we yeah. obviously obviously we would have done the. Uh... Why don't we wait until after the song finishes? Oh, okay, good call. Before we say anything. Yeah. So I wanted you guys to enjoy a little bit of the music there, but uh, there's a little, little, little hidden, hidden thing right here. Yeah, which totally contradicts what we just saw like fucking four minutes ago. Although she has been rescued. <laughs> she later divorced him. <laughs> she cannot wake up. No, that's bullshit. We just saw her fucking take a bow on the stage. So they leave you on a cliffhanger. The stupid cliffhanger because she was up already. Don't fucking dance at me. Yeah, a game like this takes ages to beat. No, I'm kidding. And, uh, so, okay. Th- so it's kind of bold, though, if you think about it. They, bold, they were... stupid, and reckless, if you ask me. 
First off, if you're gonna have her say that she didn't wake up at all, don't have her fucking take a bow in the end. I, which is clearly I don't up. disagree with that. Yeah, I don't disagree with that whatsoever. <laughs> it's like here you got you got you got straight for a bow. I got straight. Oh shit, I'm exhausted. And then she just falls down. I was like, oh, she cannot wake up because of your fucking ass banging her up inside that giant robot. <laughs> but I guess that means we just got to find out what happens in the sequel, don't we? Clockwork Night 2. And that's also Die. Saturn. Huh? That's also Saturn, right? Also Saturn, absolutely. So. Okay, well. I guess you'll be seeing us shortly. Yeah, we'll be seeing you guys uh, pretty soon then and there. So stay tuned. In the meantime, thanks, Russ. For showing off Clockwork Night for the sake of Saturn. Absolutely, the opaque senator here. And thanks, John, for allowing me to show everything off. And we hope you guys enjoyed it. But with all that said, thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night and take care. Adios.